Hi guys, welcome back to a brand new video. I'm not an owl. I'm not an owl. <laughs> so Hello. this, we haven't filmed a Harry Potter video in so long. We haven't. So we love Disney, but another one of our big loves is Harry Potter. Is old HP. We need more Harry Potter uh, clothes. Because this is I've the only top I, you have. I only have this shirt. And I only have this, which is my Dobby top. Such a beautiful place to be with friends. Mine's Marauder's Map, um, but I've, I've had this for a long time. Yeah. I really want to get a uh, Hufflepuff jumper. And you need a Ravenclaw one. All right, I thought we were going for the, the Ron and Harry. Or the Christmas jumpers. The Christmas jumpers. But I just thought, let us know in the comments what house you are. Let's yes. see how many of our subscribers are Hufflepuffs or Ravenclaws yeah. and also how many of you are Slytherins or Gryffindors if you've see done what the, the most old, popular is if you've done the Pottermore yeah. test but we thought today we'd share with you our top 20 tips we've got 20 which I, I was we surprised were, at we tried to start off with just 10 but then <laughs> yeah. it, it grew <laughs> so these are 20 tips for Harry Potter Warner Brothers Studios in Watford Yeah. in the UK we have been, I've been four times we always get this wrong <laughs> and you've been three times yes i think so and we are about to go for my fifth and your fourth time in a few weeks not very long at all three or four have i been have you been four i think we're starting to lose count now yeah we've basically it's become a tradition <laughs> that we go every single year and the actual year we met um that was the first year we went together in oh, our yeah. break from the ship. Yeah. Well, we work it out then. Yeah. Okay, we just worked it out. So I've been five times <laughs> and Martin's been four times. And then this will be my sixth time and this will be your fifth time in a few weeks. <laughs> um, so basically, we just love it. There's it's something so new good. every year. That's yeah. why we tend to go. Well, that's not. If it was the same every year, we'd I'm sure we'd still, still go. go. But yeah, that's the excuse we can use. We also normally go around Halloween or Christmas. We love that kind of like cozy um, feel to it. Yeah. Um, so all these tips are mostly geared towards going during that time because we haven't been in summer yeah. or like early parts of the year. But yeah, I hope these are helpful. And yeah, let's get cracking. Mm -hmm. So number one is book in advance book the tickets <laughs> they sell out oh. really quickly um so yeah just just if you know you want to go yeah. later on in the year um just book in advance we've been disappointed a couple of times because we've gone to book tickets months before and the dates we want they've gone yeah. um so yeah definitely book in advance number two we find that booking in the afternoon towards the evening is a better time to book, um, especially during weekdays. Because mm. we found that it's a lot quieter. We once booked for about 11 a.m. Yeah. in the morning and we had so many school groups. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know if we were just unlucky that day, but definitely the times where we've booked maybe about 3 p.m. to 5 p.m. around that time, mm -hmm. um, it was a lot quieter. Yeah, we midweek, find. yeah, you were able to walk around and there weren't really uh, loads of people. There wasn't a, a yeah. really big crowd. You could get to the different sets and things, no mm. problem. I've Yeah, I've always preferred the 3 o'clock. I think we tend to go for 3 o'clock most of the time. Between 3 and 4, yeah. Um, uh, yeah, because then when you're in, you can just spend as much time as you want there. <laughs> So number three is all to do with getting the perfect picture in the Great Hall. So when you go in there, that's the big reveal uh, towards the beginning of the tour. And then after uh, the tour guide has sort of talked a bit about the room, uh, which you can listen to or you can wander around yourself, you are then sort of told to exit the room so that the next group can come in and get the same surprise. And if you haven't managed to get that perfect shot while you've been in there for that limited time, after they've done that reveal, you're then allowed back in. Mm. So you can re-enter the Great Hall as many times as you want to get that perfect And we shot. didn't know that. <laughs> so there were times when we, obviously, you have about oh, five to seven minutes, I want to say, and then they ask you to leave. And there's been times where I've been like, oh, but I wanted a bit longer. Yeah. Um, and we didn't realise that if you just waited to the side, uh, then they will let you re-enter 
Um, so you'll be in with the next group as well. So don't panic if you don't manage to see the whole of the Great Hall because, yeah, you're, you are allowed back in. Mm-hmm. Number four. So we always go during winter time. Um, and this is just a tip really to keep warm <laughs> because most of the tour is inside, but then there is a section which is outside where you see um, the Dursley's house yeah, and the, the bus. bus and everything so i would maybe just bring like a scarf or a coat or just something if you're someone who gets cold easily just know that there is a little bit that will be outside um, and if you want to like fully explore it and take photos and everything then you might be out there for like 10 15 minutes um so yeah wrap up number five i mean this is something that we like to do yeah. that started last year was it yeah only last we year. started to try and make a like a, a two-day thing mm. of going to harry potter studios so now we travel to near the studios and then we stay in a, a hotel or an airbnb so that's yeah. our little tip if you want to make it even uh, more special then have a look and see what's yeah. around and if you are traveling from far away, this might be a good option. I think if you're traveling really far, especially if you're driving, it could be a really long day. Yeah. Um, and it is quite tiring because you do spend, you know, a lot of time in the studios. But there are loads of Airbnbs nearby and there are loads of hotels. So, yeah. Spoilt for choice with places to stay. So number six is don't feel pressured to go around the studios really quickly. Um, obviously, there are a lot of people there. Um, and you might feel a bit rushed um, to like look at things, but you can honestly take as long as you like yeah. in any of the rooms, um, apart from the Great Hall, obviously, but you are allowed back in. So don't ever feel rushed or that you have to see everything really quickly. You can fully take your time. Um, there's loads of information that you can read. And yeah, I think sometimes there is so much to see that you could rush from one thing to another mm -hmm. and then not really take it all in. We spend a good, how long? About three hours, three, three and a half. Three, four hours, four I would hours. say. Yeah, we're, we're towards the, the four hour mark, I think. But I've known people that have done it in less than an hour and I just, <laughs> I don't know how they do it. Yeah. Um, but yeah. Because you're paying quite a lot for the ticket, mm. so you want to really get to see everything, don't mm. you? So number seven is that there are some green screen opportunities. There's the chance to take some photos, maybe uh, driving the car or uh, flying on a broomstick, uh, playing Quidditch. But for those, you do have to pay an additional fee. Yeah. So if you've seen your friends or people who have gone before and they have those photos and you are expecting to get those photos, just know that they are at an added cost yeah um so just bear that in mind if you do want a green screen photo and then also the one that we got where we were on the train yeah that was another one that we was had to an pay added for. yeah anything green screen yeah. isn't it really yeah number eight is all about the food <laughs> um so halfway through the tour there is kind of like a cafeteria kind of i yeah. call it yeah. um has lots of benches lots of places to eat and it also has hot food and it also has like sandwiches and cold food so you don't have to bring any food you can purchase the food there and eat it um but if you're looking on a bit of more of a budget or looking to save some money you can make a packed lunch which you're allowed to bring in but you're not allowed to eat it until you reach that area yeah so you are allowed to eat your own food but only in that cafeteria and it's area. nice because it's like halfway through the tour it is yeah it's a nice little like recharge yeah and then just an added tip for tip number eight is you can also get butterbeer if you've never had butterbeer before i would say maybe get one to share <laughs> um it's really fun to like taste but it is a very sweet drink yes. and i really struggle to finish a whole one um so unless you've got a really 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 sweet tooth um i would always advise just getting one to share and then also you can try it then yeah and have a photo with it and stuff <laughs> Number nine. So this is something we do before we go. <laughs> Obviously, it's Leavesden Studios. It's the Harry Potter Studios. It's where they filmed all of the films. So, so cool. uh, in order to sort of get the best out of our experience mm. and to know what it is we're looking at, um, every year before we go, we have ourselves a Harry Potter marathon. So we recommend that you do the same because yeah. then you walk around and you go, oh, that's that from that. That's yeah, that from that. it's more like in your head, like yeah. fresh. Um, and we go in, I think we go in two weeks' time. Yeah, so we need <gasps> so to start So we need to it. start because, you know, it can take a while. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I think we're actually thinking of starting today, aren't we? Yeah, 
And my favourite film changes every year. It does. You're always like, oh, that's my favourite film. Uh, I think last year, was it Order of the Phoenix? Yeah, that was your favourite. I think that was my favourite. Goblet of Fire, Forever and Always. Yeah, but mine changes. <laughs> Tip number 10. This is all about the Forbidden Forest, which is an amazing part of the tour. Um, fully immersive. Um, and yeah, it's really, it's really good. But mm. it is a little bit creepy. Um, and there is an alternative route if you don't like spiders. If you've got a real big fear of spiders, which I know quite a lot of people do, just be warned um, that there are huge, huge <laughs> spiders. So if that is something which would absolutely terrify you, don't worry, because there is an alternative route that you can use. Um, so if you just let the person know, there normally is someone standing there and they say, if you're scared of spiders, go this way. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, but don't feel like if you do have a really genuine big fear of spiders, you don't have to go through that bit. So number 11, when you get to platform nine and three quarters, there's the chance to take your photo going through the wall with your trolley. It is the best photo. Like, <laughs> if you're to get one photo, I would recommend getting this one. And it this looks one so good. is just a case of uh, you just take it on your mobile yes. phone um, when, when there's a one spare. And I think they have like three or four yeah. identical uh, setups. So there's not normally that big a queue because yeah. like you're spread out. But yeah, it's the best photo. I love all the photos we have. Yeah. Last time I went through the wall vlogging. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so number 12, uh, we mentioned before about the green screen photos being at an extra cost. But there are other little photo opportunities that are free. And um, they probably have some new ones now, but when we went, there was the picking up of the broom. Up. Up, and then the broom uh, moves up to your hand, which is amazing. So that's a really good, like, boomerang or yeah, video. And yeah. um, there's also a picture, um, which is kind of um, someone who sits at the front of the table, and someone sits at the back, and it's all about how... Uh, is it forced, like dimensions, I think isn't it? Is it forced perspective? Yeah, so it makes someone look really small and someone else look really big, which is really good. Yeah. And then the other thing is uh, the wand dueling, the wand class. Yes. That's free. So there are a lot of free photo opportunities. Um, so yeah, just ask, the, the tour guys are so helpful, so just ask them, like, is this a free one? Because um, you don't <laughs> want to miss out, obviously. But there are, there are, like, free things to do, so don't think that everything is, like, at an extra cost. Number 13, one of the big things is that you get to see Hogwarts. Mm. You get to see the beautiful model. But one of the cool things that we always like to do is to go up to one of the interactive screens and to watch the time lapse of them actually constructing mm. the model inside that room. Uh, and it tells you how many days it took and stuff. Mm. And it's just really interesting. It's really like uh, relaxing as well, watching it from nothing to this huge model. Like it's a really good time lapse. Yeah. I love it. With the music in the background. Oh, it's emotional. <laughs> <laughs> Number 14. So this is probably the last room of the tour. And it is a room just full of wands and they're all in their boxes. And then um, each box has a name on it. And all the names are people that have worked on the film in some way. So it's not just all the actors. It's also all the set designers, yeah. the costume makers, the chaperones. Everyone is on the wands. So it's really nice to like look around and try and find someone. Like if you know someone that worked on it, you could try and find their name. Mm -hmm. um, but it is huge. So if you can't find someone's name, there is a tour guide who actually stands in that room and they have a big folder and you can ask them about whoever you're looking for and they'll be able to find their wand for you. So yeah, it's really, really, it's a really nice touch at the end. Mm. Um, I made sure I found David Tennant. Yeah, you found David Tennant's <laughs> wand. Um, but yeah, it's just crazy. And it's also crazy to like see how many people it took to create the films like because you only sometimes you do only just think about you know the people you see on the screen but then when you see like all the work that goes into all the films like it's just incredible mm -hmm. so number 16 we're back in the forbidden forest now um but there is a huge buckbeak in the forbidden forest who actually bows to you so mm -hmm. if you go up to him and bow he will bow back at you and it makes a really good photo and a really good video but yeah it's really cool because he actually bows to you. <laughs> <laughs> Number 17. So the second part of the tour is a lot more about like the technical stuff. Mm. 
to do with the films and uh, like the animatronics and uh, all the props and there's these screens that look blank uh, and you think nothing's going to happen and then on comes Warwick Davis who has been in the films and he interviews people that are behind the scenes and they actually interact with some of the props as well that are around you so I just advise Mm. sticking around and watching those because they're really funny they are really good so number 18 uh, we are kind of going back to the booking process um but if you're not buying the tour for yourself there is an option that you can buy it as a gift and i believe that you can buy it as a gift and then i believe that the person can then choose the date they want to go um don't quote me but i um have known of people who have been brought a kind of voucher to use as a gift so if it is something that you want to buy someone and you don't want to just give them the money you want to give them something like that shows it's the harry potter tour um yeah you can buy it as a gift for someone which i think it's a lovely gift for yeah. any harry potter fan number 19 <laughs> <laughs> i don't know whether this is just me but i think it's always <laughs> nice to before you're about to walk in to see hogwarts you just stop take a moment <laughs> and then walk in yeah so basically you go up a ramp and there's lots of lovely artwork and then you turn a corner mm-hmm. and the music hits you the model hits you and it's this really like emotional moment isn't it yeah i mean you can cool. see it at different times of the year so we've seen it when it's it's been the model as is and then we've seen it when it's hogwarts in the snow yeah i love it as hogwarts in the snow I really do. Um, But both take your breath away. So our last tip, number 20, is just take as many photos as you can. (laughs) Um, You can literally take photos everywhere except for the green screen. That is the only place where you can't take photos. Um, But apart from that... And the pre-room. And the pre-room, which is like the cinema room. Uh, But apart from that, you can take photos of absolutely everything. And it's the only time where you're going to see all these genuine harry potter props and set Mm. um and then you can also share your photos online and they have a hashtag which i can't remember what the hashtag is it's dotted all around but it's everywhere because they encourage you to take photos and share them so don't ever feel like oh am i allowed to take a photo of that because nine times out of ten you definitely can yeah and Um, they'll make it clear if you're not if you're not but like you can take photos of pretty much everything so yeah get snapping and make those memories so that is it that is our 20 top tips for visiting the harry potter warner brothers studio so yeah i hope that was helpful uh if you have any more tips please pop them in the comments below and there's loads that we still missed off yeah there's just so much to do so much but we are as we said before we're going in two weeks time uh so not very long and we will have a vlog for you of our trip to mm-hmm. Harry Potter Studios, so look out for that. And if you want to watch our previous trips, yes. then we'll put the links in the description below. Yeah, we'll put below. them all, we'll put yeah. them all. So you can also see how the studios have changed over the years, because mm-hmm. there's always something new. And uh, this year, the new edition is Gringotts Bank. Oh, so, so we excited. haven't seen it, uh, so we can't wait. But yeah, that is everything, and we will see you in our next video. Bye. Bye.